In this problem, we're asked to solve the equation 2x squared plus 4x equals 3. Well, in order to know how to solve it, we have to decide what kind of equation it is. Well, if you notice, the highest exponent on any of the x's is a 2, so it's a quadratic equation, a degree 2 equation. And to solve degree 2 equations, whether we're going to factor it or use the quadratic formula, we need to get 0 on one side. So the first thing I'm going to have to do in this problem is subtract 3 from both sides. So I get 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals 0. Whether I'm going to factor this equation or use the quadratic formula, I want to compare it to ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. For our case, a is the coefficient of the x squared is 2. b is the coefficient of the x is 4. And c is the constant term. So if I want to try to factor it, what I have to do is multiply a times c. So that's 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to AC, which is negative 6, and then they have to add to B, which is 4. Since they add, sorry, since they multiply to a negative, the signs are different, and since they add to a positive, the bigger one has to be positive. So I could look at negative 1 and 6. It definitely multiply to negative 6. Negative 1 plus 6 equals 5. Not the number I'm looking for. 2 divides into 6, so it's going to be negative 2 and 3. Negative 2 plus 3 equals positive 1. So my factors have met in the middle. There are no other choices, so this one's not going to factor, so I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula. Now, you must memorize the quadratic formula. It's x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. That's all under the radical, all divided by 2a. So up here, we've already found out what A, B, and C are. So I've got negative B, so it's the opposite of B. B is 4, plus or minus the square root. Remember, B is 4, so it's 4 squared minus 4 times what's A? 2, and what's C? Negative 3. That's all underneath the radical, all divided by 2 times a, a was 2. So x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 fourths is 16, minus 4 times 2 is 8, negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24, all divided by 4. So it's negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 and 24 is 40, all divided by 4. And now we have to simplify the square root of 40. Well, hopefully you can see that 40 is 4 times 10. 4 is a perfect square, so we're going to leave it alone. 10 is 2 times 5. So I'm going to write x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 times 10 over 4, which is negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 times the square root of 10, all divided by 4. So x is negative 4 plus or minus, what's the square root of 4? 2. This times the square root of 10, all divided by 4. Now all I have to do is simplify this answer here. There are two different ways of doing this, basically. If you notice, this term, this term, and this term are all divisible by 2. So one method I can simplify it, 
is I can factor out a 2 out of the numerator. So I'm going to get 2 times, 2 divides into negative 4, negative 2 times, plus or minus. I'm pulling the 2 out, and it's going to leave me with the square root of 10, all divided by 4. Now I have factored out my numerator. This 2 can reduce into there once and into the denominator two times. So I'm going to get left with negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 10 all divided by 2. So that is one way of writing the answer. If you wanted to break it down into its two separate solutions, you'd write x equals negative 2 plus the square root of 10 over 2 and x equals negative 2 minus the square root of 10 over 2. So that is another way of writing the answer. Or another way of simplifying this expression here is to break it down. And by that I mean is you're going to take negative 4 and divide it by the denominator 4. And then I'm going to have plus or minus to the square root of 10 divided by 4. All I've done is divide both terms in the numerator by 4. And then this reduces to negative 1 plus or minus 2 goes into 4 twice, the square root of 10 over 2. That is another way of writing the solution. Even though these don't look exactly the same, they are identical. If in this expression here we put it over a common denominator, we'd land up at this expression here. Also, don't forget this answer here could be broken down into its two solutions too. Negative 1 plus the square root of 10 over 2 and negative 1 minus the square root of 10 over 2.